What coffee recipe do you want to do today? Hmm? Hey guys and welcome back to About Coffee where we talk about all different things to do with coffee and today we're going to be diving in to a V60 recipe. The V60 is one of my all-time favorite brewers so I'm really excited to share this very simple recipe with you and we'll run through it in just two minutes. So as Riley makes herself comfortable let's put two minutes on the clock and get going with this recipe. So let's start off with our coffee and you're going to need 15 grams of coffee for this recipe and you're going to want to grind that to a medium coarseness for this. Now once you've got your coffee, let's grab our V60 and it's filter paper and as I always say, wet your filter paper. Wetting your filter paper just means you're not going to have a papery taste within your coffee and, and no one wants that in their coffee. So with your coffee all ready, your filter paper's now been wet, let's get on with the recipe. So bung that coffee into your V60 and then we're going to be doing the bloom. Now what the bloom is is where it releases all the gases from that coffee. So we're going to pour 50 grams of water onto our coffee to start off that bloom. Now this bloom is going to last 40 seconds before we do our next next pour. So once we finish our bloom and we're now at 40 seconds, we're going to add our second pour. Now with this second pour, we're going to add water to, to create a total of 150 grams. So another 100 grams onto this recipe. So a little tip, make sure that when you're pouring, you're keeping concentric circles going at a really nice steady pace rather than just pouring it all as quickly as possible into one part of the V60. So you should have finished that pour around one minute and then at one minute 10, we're going to do our third and and final pour for this recipe. And we're gonna fill up to 230 grams of water total. So that is 230 grams. Now a little tip that I like to do, definitely on the final pour of this recipe, is start quite wide with my pour. Now even just about hitting the filter paper and moving into the center as I pour. What this does is make sure that all the coffee grounds are not on the side of your filter paper and bring them in nice and central and nice and flat for that final pour so that it's extracting over all the coffee not just in certain sections. So give it a nice circle round the outside and quickly move to the inside for a center pour. Now that's all the pouring we're going to do so now we're just going to leave the V60 to do its thing. The total brew time for this recipe should be 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So if you're struggling a little bit with this recipe you might need to play around with your grind size to make sure that it's finer if it's going too fast and coarser if it's going too slow. And there we have it. So that is today's recipe. So let's stop the clock. I am dead inside. And let's have a quick little recap of that recipe. So we're starting with 15 grams of coffee. The initial bloom is going to be 50 grams of water. And at 40 seconds, we're going to pour our next section, which is totaling up to 150 grams of water. Then at 1 minute 10, we're going to do our third and final pour, which will go up to 230 grams with a total brew time of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So there we have it, guys, a completed V60 recipe. As I said, it's one of my favorite brewers and worth playing around with different recipes recipes with different coffees. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have loads of different videos coming right here to About Coffee where we'll be talking through different recipes, different facts about coffee. So it's worth subscribing so that you don't miss out on any of that content. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode of About Coffee.